My name is Derek Wolf. I run Over the Fire Cooking and I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. I'm packing up my truck and headed over to Jared Thatcher's farm. Uh, he runs Boot Hill Blades. He makes some amazing custom knives for both chefs and home cooks. I like his knives because they make it feel like you should be cooking outdoors and that's what I do. They're just very rustic and craftsman. In 2013, I was a financial advisor uh, working in Clarksville and uh, started making knives uh, as, a, as a hobby, as sort of an outlet to sitting in an office at a desk all day. What I like about knife making is I complete something. It's done, it's finished. And the people who receive those knives, they waited a long time to get one from me. And so they appreciate that knife. And that's what I like. I like to forge knives first, like first thing in the morning, because that is what gets me going. Because forging is fun. Grinding, heat treating, all of the other stuff, it's more menial than, than actual forging. Jared, what's going on, man? My man. So I just cut a couple of blanks out that, okay. uh, that will forge. So if you're up for it, we're gonna go over there and we're gonna forge out some blades and I'm gonna get you on the hammer as yeah, well a little bit. Yeah, so I'm all right. excited. Cool, let's do it. Then we go over to the grinder, profile it. We take it over to the oven and the heat treat oven and we do something called thermal cycling. It's going to allow us to heat treat that knife after that to harden it in a way that it's uniform across that whole blade. And after we do that, um, we will drill holes, put the handles onto that knife, and do that final grind, and we're ready to go. After I see Jared work really hard with these knives and I'm able to hold the finished product, I'm, I'm really excited to get over and start cooking and using them and get the fire rolling. We're gonna actually build two fires. Uh, so we're gonna build one fire, let it break down into coals, and then we're gonna have a separate fire so that we're able to shovel new coals, fresh hot coals, um, onto the cooking area. We are cooking two New York strips with my chipotle garlic rub. Oh man, that tastes good. Yeah. It's like sweet and yeah. spicy and flavorful. Yeah. We're also going to be cooking flatbread right on top of the coals with blistered tomatoes, arugula, Parmesan cheese, a little bit of olive oil, and sea salt. Gotta make sure that those coals are white hot. Uh, you're not putting them on black coals, you're not putting them on ashy coals. Cooking steak like that really only takes maybe three to four minutes a side. Uh, and you pull it off, you get this awesome caramelization, especially uh, with my chipotle garlic rub that's right on top of it. It's going to be sweet. Uh, it's going to be a little bitter because of the charcoal. Uh, you're gonna get some spiciness from the chipotle and, and maybe a little bit of tanginess from the garlic. But all in all, it's gonna be perfect. Top it off with some butter while it's resting so it just soaks in some extra flavor. Fire brings people together. It's one of those things where kids run and they want to play in it. Uh, Grown-ups want to gather around it, drink whiskey around it. Fire is important, and so when you add food to it, that's the things that bring, bring people together. That's one of the reasons we do what we do, because we enjoy hanging out with people. We enjoy gathering people together in one place to, to create a memory, to do something special. Man, this has been so much fun. Thanks for having me out here. And this was quite a day. Yeah, cheers.